Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in the permutation and combination, so far we have done lots of problems. Now I am sure that you will be getting some confidence on the topic, right? Now uh, in this session, we will be taking more concepts of permutation and combination. So far we just have discussed arrangement of numbers and letters and human beings, right? Now in this session, I will be taking uh, the circular permutation also, that is the circular arrangement also and some difficult problems based on permutation and combination, right? Uh, friends, actually the topic is very vast, right? There is no end to the problems based on permutation and combination, right? But the thing is, over here, we just have to clear the concept because doesn't matter how many problems are you doing, right? Every time you will be get a new concept, new problem, right? So it's great for you. To just gain the confidence on the concepts right and uh, as i have already told you just we have using uh, we are using a single formula that is ncr apart from that no other formula we are going to use to understand the topic right okay we just have to apply the mathematic common sense right so let's take problems for this session So friends, in the beginning of the session, I would like to discuss circular arrangement or circular permutation, right? So we'll be clear with all the concepts involved in permutation and combination, then we'll be solving the problems. Uh, okay, so see as in a line, we discussed that R person or N person can be arranged in N factorial ways, right? In a straight line, I just write over here in a straight line n persons can be arranged in n factorial ways right now but the case is different while we talk about a circle now why it is different let's try to understand that right suppose i have three person say a b and c right so if we have to make the linear arrangement of these three persons so there will be three factorial ways or six ways now what are these ways it's a b c a c b right b a c b c a c a b and c b a right so all these six arrangements are different from each other right but if we have to arrange these three people around a circle then what would happen so this is one arrangement a b and c right and the second arrangement would be what i just draw the other circle so this is one arrangement the other arrangement will be a b and c right now there is no other possibility of arrangement right in this case uh, b is on the right hand uh, left hand side of a and c is on the right hand side and in this case a uh, C is on the left hand side of A and B is on the right hand side of A, right? There is no other arrangement. If we just try to uh, make other arrangement, just see what happens. Now suppose I make uh, other arrangement here B and here A and here C, right? Now it looks like to be a different arrangement, but it is actually not. Here just see. Who, who is at the left side of B that is uh, who is at the right side uh, left side of A that is B right so B on the left side here in this case also uh, I'm sorry in this case B is on the left side of A so this arrangement and this arrangement both of them are same it looks to be different but actually they are same right because in the circle left and right that is clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements to be seen right so while we are arranging the people around a circle the arrangements are not n factorial but these are n minus 1 factorial right so if we are having three people and we have to make the arrangement of three people around the circle so the answer would be 3 minus 1 factorial that is 2 factorial right in that, uh, in that case, uh, how this formula is derived, I just explained. See, the position of one person is fixed. Suppose we fix up the position of one person. And the remaining persons are arranged related to or the relatively to this particular position. Okay, so uh, position of A is fixed. Now, B and C, two persons are there. So, two persons can be arranged in two factorial manner, right? Similarly, if there are four persons around a circle, maybe A, B, 
C and D, right? We just fix up the position of one person, any one person, right? No selections to be made, just one person has to be fixed. Now the remaining three persons can be arranged in three factorial as we are arranging in the linear arrangement, right? So if we are arranging the uh, n people on a line, then n factorial arrangements will be there. But if we are arranging the people around a circle, then n minus one factorial will be there, right? One more concept is there over here. I just uh, wait a moment. What's that is? Uh, suppose further we have three persons. I make the two arrangements A, B, C and A, B, C. Right? These two arrangements are different. Right? Uh, because in this arrangement C is on the left side of A. In this uh, C is on the right side of A. Right? So we got the three things. First of all, I just make a recap. Linear arrangement is n minus one factorial. Uh, n factorial. Circular arrangement is n minus one factorial. Now there is a condition with this arrangement, right? So if we are considering the anti-clockwise and clockwise uh, arrangement to be different, then only n minus one factorial will be uh, arrangement. Total number of arrangements, right? See in this case and in this case, who are the neighbors of A, B, and C? In this case, B and C. Doesn't matter B is here and C is here. And in this case, B is here and C is here. But neighbors of A are B and C, right? So there are two cases. The first case is when we are not considering the uh, like uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangement. If we are considering both the arrangements, then n minus 1 factorial will be there. That means A can have the neighbors as B and C, but the arrangement of neighbors is different. Right? So n minus 1 factorial arrangements will be there. Now the second case is if we do not want to consider the arrangements of neighbor uh, in a different manner than in all n minus 1 factorial by 2. Right? The total number of arrangements will be n minus 1 factorial by 2. Right? So this is a linear arrangement and this is the arrangement when neighbors may be same. This is the arrangements when neighbors are not same in this arrangement the position of neighbors is changed but the neighbors are same in this uh, arrangement neighbors are even not same right so uh, if this is the case these two are also the same arrangement right because the neighbors of a and a is uh, b and c both as well right now friends uh, Further, if we talk about circular arrangement, there comes a case of arrangement of beads or flowers or maybe uh, we are making a garland of different flowers, something like that, right? All of these are the arrangement in circle, right? But suppose I have a garland, right? Uh, maybe some four or five flowers are there. That is uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, five flowers are there. I'm arranging them as one, two, three, four, five, right? And on the second, what I am doing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Now, according to the simple arrangement, circular arrangement theory, these two arrangements are different, right? Because uh, in this case, 2 is on the uh, left hand side of 1 and 5 is on the right hand side and here it is reverse, right? But in case of garlands or beads or maybe pearl string, if we talk about these two arrangements are same. Now, why they are same? Because if you just see you have uh, hold the string in this manner, if you just twist the uh, like uh, string, you'll be getting this arrangement, right? Isn't it? You just have to twist the string, right? So you'll be getting this arrangement. So these two arrangements are not at all different. Right. So if we talk about garlands or strings or pearls, the total number of arrangement will be n minus one factorial by two, which we discussed in the like previous concept when the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not considered to be different. Right. Because the person is having the same neighbor in both the cases. OK. So in this case, the person, the one is having the same neighbor. Right. So this arrangement and this arrangement are not different. Getting my point? So, because if you just twist it, uh, you'll be getting this arrangement, right? So, we got the four things now. That is the linear arrangement, then circular arrangement when anti-clockwise and clockwise directions are considered to be different. And this, when the, like, one person is fixed, but the neighbors are uh, not, but like, the thing is, the different arrangement of neighbors is considered to be same. 
and the fourth position fourth uh, concept is this that with the arrangement of garlands or pearls in a string right so now we are ready to take the question challenges so let's take the questions now let's take up a very simple uh, question just to like uh, brush up the concept 20 different flowers can be arranged in a garland right it's a quite simple problem we just have to apply the formula since it's a matter of garland it's n minus 1 factorial by 2 that is 19 factorial right so you don't have to calculate anything the answer will be 19 factorial only uh, friends, before we proceed further, I would just like to discuss one more uh, concept over here. Uh, in this case, in how many ways can 7 plus signs and 5 minus signs be arranged in a row so that no two minus signs are together? Now, friends, uh, before we do this question, I would just I'd like to ask a simple question. Uh, see, we just have to arrange maybe 7 plus signs. How many uh, ways do we have, right? If we have seven persons, we can arrange them in seven factorial ways, right? So this is also quite simple. If we have to arrange seven plus signs, there are seven factorial ways, isn't it? So the most of the student make the same mistake, right? See, persons can seven persons can be arranged in seven factorial ways, but seven plus signs cannot be arranged in seven factorial ways. Why? It's a big question why they cannot be because see all the persons when we are arranging the persons all the persons are different from each other right all the persons are unique right you can make a clear distinguish between the two persons right but if we talk about the plus signs all the plus signs are identical isn't it right so this is what the arrangement of seven plus signs and i just making one more arrangement over here Right. This is also another arrangement of uh, 7 plus signs. But in this arrangement, I have taken this plus over here and this plus over here. So do you agree? Don't? No, because it doesn't look to be a different arrangement. Both the arrangements are same. Right? Why? Because all the plus signs are identical. Right? Similarly, suppose um, you have 7 1 rupee coin. Right? Maybe 5 1 rupee coin. 1, 2, 3 four five right here i'm just trying to make you clear about identical and unidentical objects right so this is also an important part while we discuss about permutation and combination so uh, see these are five one rupee coin and uh, suppose you have to choose one one coin right now how many choices do you have right you have to choose one coin how many choices do you have it's simple once again the five choices but do you really think five choices are there what is the difference between this coin and this coin all the coins are same right so just have a single choice that just pick up any coin right because all the coins are identical but if we talk about person that means if you have to choose a person from these five persons so the all the persons are different from each other so it makes a difference which person you are choosing right so if you have to choose the persons there will be five choices but if you have to choose one coin from five identical coins then you just have one choice just choose anyone right so be clear about identical and unidentical objects right if all the objects are identical that means if n objects are identical then the arrangement will be just single that is just one arrangement is possible right because you cannot make a clear distinction between the two arrangements of identical objects right so i hope you are clear between the arrangement of identical and unidentical objects so uh, based on that concept we just try to do this problem now let's try this problem in how many ways can 7 plus signs and 5 minus signs be arranged in a row so that no two minus signs are together so what we do first of all we make the arrangement of 7 plus signs right so it's 1 2 3 4 5 six and seven right now we don't want the minus this is this is a single way of arranging all the plus signs as i have already discussed that all the plus signs are identical right now the 
five minus signs should not be together right if they don't have to be together that means we have to insert the minus signs between these two plus between the plus signs right so we have how many options one two three four five six seven and eight right so we have eight places uh, where we can arrange the minus signs so they want to be together right so but we have just five minus signs so from these eight places we have to select five places getting me any of the five places we have to select so all the combinations of five places we are getting into 8c5 okay so after selection of the five places we have to arrange this is still here we just have done the selection right after selecting five places we have to arrange the five minus signs on these five places so further five factorial base will be there yes no because minus signs are also identical, so there will not be any sort of other arrangement, just one way of arranging. So by HC5, HC5 uh, we are uh, doing because we are selecting 5 places out of 8, right? So that's why HC5 we are taking. Now what HC5 is? HC5 is HC3. Now HC3 is what? 8 into 7 into 6 by 3 factorial, that is 6. So these are 56 ways right a very small answer so if you are going to uh, assume this plus signs to be unidentical your answer will be very big and believe me if you are appearing for any competitive exam that particular answer will there be in the options right and if you are not conceptually clear you will end up marking wrong answer wrong option right so this is uh, how we differentiate between an, an unidentical and identical objects right Now friends, uh, we have discussed a good number of uh, concepts in permutation and combination and uh, as I told you, I'll be just using a single formula that is NCR uh, in the permutation combination topic, right? Now I think we are ready to take more challenging questions, right? Because the concept will remain same. Now how to apply this concept is a main uh, the, the task that we have to achieve, right? Because each and every question is quite different from the other, right? So that means you will be getting a series of unique questions right but the basic concept of arrangement will remain same now we just have to learn to apply that particular concept according to the requirement of the questions right so let's begin to take the challenging questions now and now onwards we'll be taking a mix a bag of questions so you'll be able to apply the concept in each and every question right I mean you will be able to apply the concept of uh, concept on each and every question right so let's take the first question let's take this question in how many ways can a party of four men and four women be seated at a circular table so uh, no two women are adjacent right so first of all what we do we just make the arrangement of men right so it's one two three four right four men can be arranged in three factorial ways as we have already discussed about that one person is fixed and remaining three persons are arranged right so four men will be arranged in three factorial ways right now we have to uh, make the arrangement of four women now women should not be adjacent to each other that means we are having that's one two three four places right but uh, the each woman is sitting between the two men right so we have four places and four women so the four women can be arranged in four factorial ways so this is six into 24 that is 144 ways are there right so as uh, so a very simple application of uh, arrange uh, setting arrangement around a circle now there is bit variation in the previous case the men and the woman were same in number now in this case of uh, there are five gentlemen and four ladies and the condition is same that no two ladies are together so first of all let's arrange five gentlemen one two three four five right five persons can be arranged around a circle in four factorial ways now we have to arrange the four ladies now we have one two three four five places right where we can make them sit so the no two ladies will be together right so we have five places but four ladies right so what we have to do further 
we have to select the four places so out of five places we have to select the four places getting me uh, the there is a variation in the problem now we have to select the four places from five available places right and till now we just have selected the places now in these four places four ladies can be arranged in four factorial ways right so you got the difference between the problem that we discussed uh, previously and now so it's 24 into 5 c4 will be 5 into 24 so it's 24 into 24 or 24 into 5 is 120 into 24 right so that's 2880 okay so that was uh, there was a bit variation in the concept right but it's really simple right you first of all arrange the five gentlemen in four factorial ways then we find out there are five vacant places between two men so from these five places we chose four places for the ladies now the four ladies can sit in four factorial ways on these four places so in all this is the answer okay now we have a bit more challenging problem arrangement is around the circle only but there are um, two more conditions over there let's read the question there are 20 persons among whom two are brothers find the number of ways in which we can arrange them around a circle so that there is exactly one person between the two brothers <coughs> now friends listen to me carefully i assume the two persons are the two brothers as a and b and which type of arrangement we are looking for a and b and uh, in between one person right so just we'll, uh, let's start from the starting see these are uh, two persons a and b and we have to make one person sit over there in between the two brothers right now remaining persons are what see apart from a and b 18 more persons are there right so the person who will be sitting between a and b has to be chosen right from these 18 persons right so first of all what is the first step we are choosing one person from the remaining 18 persons who will sit between a and b right now suppose this person is c right that means 18 c1 though there are 18 choices but i'm just taking an example suppose this person is c right now they this combination is fixed right i treat it as a single person right now this uh, is a single person and apart from that 17 more persons are there they will be sitting somewhere here right so these 17 and this one 18 now we have to make the arrangement of 18 people around the circle right we are treating this uh, this combination as a single person right so 17 other persons plus one this uh, 18 persons we have to arrange around the circle right so if we have to arrange 18 persons around a the circle there will be 17 factorial ways getting my point so this is the first step this is the second step now what is the third step see we arrange the 17 uh, persons and one this person around the circle but c should be between a and b but the order of a and b can also be changed like this b and a right so order a and b can be rearranged among themselves as into two factorial ways right so this is the third step right now the problem is complete that means the solution is complete 18 c1 is 18 into 17 factorial into 2 factorial now 17 factorial into 18 is 18 factorial and into 2 so your answer is 2 into 18 factorial right i just uh, repeat it once again see we had 20 persons out of them two are brothers maybe the brothers are a and b we have to make one people sit between the two brothers so out of 18 person we are choosing one now we fixed the three persons that is a the third person and b right we treated them as a single person then 17 more persons were there so 17 and 1 18 persons can uh, be arranged around a circle in 17 factorial ways then these two brothers that is a and b can be arranged in two factorial ways so in all this is the solution right so gradually the difficulty level is increasing but the concept is same that you must be observing right
Now, from a group of 15 cricket players, a team of 11 players is to be chosen. In how many ways can this be done? Right? Uh, see, we have two questions. First of all, let's finish up till there. 15 players are there. We have to choose 11 players. So, it's quite a simple problem. 15 C 11, that is nothing but 15 C 4, right? So, it is 15 into 14 into 13 into 12. Reduce till the fourth step, then factorial of the denominator, right? So, it is 15 into 7 into 13. Right, so these are the number of ways when uh, we can select 11 players from 15 players. Right, the next is in how many ways can they be sent to the play playground? Right now, 11 players are there, so they can be sent in 11 factorial ways, as simple as that. Right, here we have done the selection, here we have done the arrangement. Right, if both the things are to happen simultaneously, then the total answer will be this. Right. That means first of all, we are selecting 11 players and the selected 11 players are being sent to the playground in 11 factorial ways. Right. So we have to be very clear. Right. If we are asked only about selection, then a problem will be over till here. And after selection, if we have to make the arrangement, then we have to go to uh, this step also. Right. Now let's try this problem. In how many ways can a football team of 11 players be selected from 16 players? Okay, so first of all, there is no condition. 11 players from 16 players. So the answer is very simple. 16 C 11, that is 16 C 5, right? We do. We are not going to calculate it because uh, bright chances are there that uh, you'll be having this as an option. And if you are appearing for subjective exam, then I think you can uh, live leave it up to here only right now this is what without any condition now the first condition is include two particular players right so in all we are having 16 players right now two particular players suppose a and b it's mandatory to select them that means two players are already selected right so now remaining players are what 14 players because two are already selected, we, we don't have to uh, like uh, take in them into this team of next selection. So now 14 players are left and out of these 14, we just have to select 9 players because two we have already selected, right? So we are not calculating A and B. So 14 players are there and we have to select 9. So it's 14 C 9, right? Okay, so it's pretty clear. Okay, the next is exclude two particular player. So, suppose we have to exclude these two particular player that is A and B, right? We don't have to choose them. Now, we are having 16 players out of this 16, two we don't have to choose. So, we are left with 14 players. Now, we have to make the team of 11 players from these 14 players. So, it's 14 C 11, right? So, 14 C 11 that is 14 C 3. Okay, so got the difference between the three problems. The first one is 16 C 11, the second one is 14 C 9 and the third one is 14 C 3. Getting my point? When we are including two particular players and we are, when we are excluding two particular players. Uh, friends, we have done good number of problems even in this session. In the next session, we'll be taking more problems. So do revise this session because we have discussed some new concept also in this session that is circular arrangement. So in the next session, we'll be taking more challenging problems. See you. Bye-bye.